Surprise! Surprise. <laughs> it's both of us! Happy Thursday night! We thought we'd trick you. You thought you knew the pattern, but it's A, B, A, B, C. C. <laughs> so, tonight, since we're practicing um, the and reviewing our unit right now and not learning a new lesson, we thought you, we would teach you a fun card game to practice your math facts. Okay? So you take your cards. You could use Uno cards or just regular playing cards, and you want to take only have the ace through nine. So you don't want to have the, the jokers, the tens, the jack, queen, or king. You want to take all those out first. And then you want to mix them up. And what we're going to do, I'm going to deal out four cards. I'll deal them this way so that you can see them a little better. And then I'm going to put the draw pile right here. Now what I want to do is look to see if I can find a combination of cards that I could add or subtract. I want to find a number sentence. Um, and I can use as many cards as I can to find that answer. So here I can see I could do 3 plus 5 equals 8. So I would get to take these three cards. They would be in my pile. And then I would set them up for Mrs. Downing. You always want to have four cards up there. Okay, and now I'm looking at these and I can see that I could do six plus one equals seven. And also, like Mrs. Hopping said, it is a fact family. Seven minus one would be six, or seven minus six would be one. So then I would take those three cards and then I would put out the next one. And now it's Mrs. Hopping's turn. Okay, so I'm going to look at all the combinations. I don't want to just say, nope, I don't see anything. But I'm looking, and I don't know if I see anything. So I, I can play with these cards. I can see if I can put some together. I don't see a 6. I don't see 4 plus 5 is 9. Oh, but in playing with the cards, I can see that this would be a fact family. So I could do 7 minus 5 equals 2. And I would take those three, and I would set the next set up for Mrs. Downing. Okay, and now again, here we go. And like Mrs. Hopping said, play with them a little bit. And I do see that we have a double, four plus four. And right away, oh, that equals eight. Nice job, Mrs. Downing. Thank you, Mrs. Hopping. I'm really getting my practice in. Sorry my turn. I'm sorry. That's okay. All right. Now I do, I'm just going to give you an example because we're not going to play the whole set of cards. You would if you're playing the game. But let's just say I don't see anything. Now secretly I see 2 plus 4 equals 6. So let's say I don't see anything. What I would do is I would draw one more card and add to it. And then by then I probably would be able to find something. Here I can even find something else. Okay, um, but that's all you should have to do is to add one more card. And if then I didn't find anything, Mrs. Downing would add one. But you should be able to find some combination within these cards to add or subtract. So I hope you find someone to play this with tonight. Um, if you don't have anyone at home to play it with, you can feel free to play it by yourself like you would solitaire. And you would just collect your cards to yourself. Okay? Have fun, use your number sentences, and we will see you on Friday when we'll be doing this in class. We'll be playing in class. Okay. Have a good Have night. Have a good night. Bye.